I had a great day with you, Devin. Me too, babe. How many times have we been to Disneyland now? Four? I think so. The happiest number on Earth? Sorry we missed the electric parade. And your favorite ride. Very funny. I don't need that song going through my head. It's a small world after all. 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 It's a world of stuff and a world of things. <laughs> you love me. You love me too. This is so nice. Your interview with Scripps is tomorrow. Are you nervous? A little bit, but not about the interview. Hmm. Well, what else is there? Just this. Devin, it's beautiful. Whether I get the job at Scripps or not, I still want you to marry me. Will you? Marry me? Oh, Devin, of course. Yes. Devin, look out! Devin! No! No! Get on your back and don't move, Widow. What... What do you want? I want you on your back. And don't move! Take anything you want. Crow, Jose, keep this weedle quiet. De Dev, De Devin, Devin, help. Hold still, man. Initiation complete, hermanos. Vamanos. Something on your mind, weedle? Your girl, she was a bleeder. Have a look. Ah. Oh. I'll kill you. I'll, I'll kill you. That would be an interesting trick. It's your turn, amigo. Oh, uh. Okay, Olson. Out of the car. If you gentlemen just tell me what this is about, I, I, I'm sure we can come to a mutually beneficial agreement. Like I told you, our job is not to answer questions, just to deliver you to Barnes. But Barnes? Where? Where? Why? Just get in the plane.
Mi amigos will join us soon, cabrón. Oh, ah! Damn it, Montoya. Why don't we do this at your hacienda? I wouldn't feed these basura to my crocs at home. Mr. Olson, my trusted accountant. Ha! You've been sloppy, Olson. That was your first mistake. You're an accountant, for Christ's sake. You think you were being discreet? No matter. Water under the bridge. Montoya? <laughs> Look at the snappers on that one. Embezzling my money. Perhaps I could have forgiven that. After all, we all like nice things, don't we? You're living in a nice neighborhood. Your children are going to a nice school. You drive a nice car, you have a beautiful wife. The money you stole from me. Well, I didn't even notice it. But the fans did notice it. Which brings us to your second mistake. The mistake that I cannot forgive. And that is your deal with the FBI. Ah, why now? My amigos will like this, cabrón. Muchas gracias. Hmm, <coughs> what to use, what to use? Oh, good grief. Just use the chainsaw like you always do. A la verga. I know that. I'm trying to set the mood. Oh, yeah, get, oh, get, 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 get. Somebody fix this damn bridge. Estupido. Just you and me now, amigo. That phrase is no pleased with you. No pleased at all. In fact, he gave you to me. You now belong to Archangel de Jesus and Montoya. Holbert, where are you? The lab. Come on up to my office, please. <sighs> Come on in. Have a seat. You need some help, Dale? Yes, but not the kind you're thinking. As you're aware, we lost those two operatives recently. I hate to speak ill of the dead, but they weren't cut out for covert operations work, and would have been cut from the Doves team soon anyway. Right. And it was John who was going to do the drug deal in L.A. That operation is clearly no longer feasible. 
exactly why you're here. There are a couple guys I'm looking at. They served four years in the army. Grunts. They're a little green, but I think they can handle this operation. No, there's no way we can get him ready in time. John prepared for a week, and he was still perfecting his role. Oh, they'll be ready, because they'll be backup. Backup? This operation didn't include backup. It does now. We're tweaking the plan. I know, I know. Your computer programming mind hates deviation. Well, it's just not logical. And there's still a missing piece of the equation. Is Dan coming back? No, Dan, it's still in the Gulf. That's why you're here, Polbird. I'm going to have you fill in for John. Uh, pardon me? I can't do that. I've never done field work. Come on, you've done several surveillance missions for me. That's... that wasn't field work. That was sitting in an SUV watching someone and taking notes. Yeah, and you did it perfectly. Look, Dale, I appreciate all you've done for me. I'd still be in prison if it weren't for you. But you hired me to set up your computer security and continue as a programmer. What you're suggesting makes no sense. Believe me, I've thought about it. But hear me out. You know this op better than anyone, even John. And you've got the look with that hippie hairstyle of yours. This is an easy op. Exchange money for drugs. Just be sure to know any new faces and above all, suggest a bigger deal in the near future. What their appetite. We need to flush out the big boys. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe it makes a little sense, I suppose. And you'll have two men watching your back. Yeah, two men I've never worked with. I don't know, Dale. Let me think about it. Don't take too long. I'm getting the money together today. Now, about that latest list of gripes you sent me. Did anything stick out to you? List of gripes? Oh, about the possible new recruits? I don't look at that list. My program is set up to automatically search for your criteria and flag the results accordingly. It's also automatically sent to your inbox. To be honest, I haven't thought about it until you just mentioned it. Well, there are a few that look promising, and there's certainly an interesting one. Interesting? As in, we can bring him up to speed for this operation? No. Interesting, as in he or she hacked into Venice Police Department, and apparently didn't do any harm to their files or database. Ah, that is interesting, I guess. Want me to look into it? Nah, I'll get the ball rolling on this one. It'll involve talking to humans. I'll let you know if I need your expertise. Now how's that CIA liaison working out? Amy? Good, I think. She's working with Jim on the database. I've only seen her a few times. Well, she seems pretty bright. I might give her a shot at some field work eventually. Keep an eye on her and let me know what your logical brain thinks. You have anything for me? No. Alright then. Dismissed. <sighs>